This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Volvo XC40, or it's called P6, but this is a 69 kilowatt hour front wheel drive. And today I'm going to do the Sunday driving. So on the 90 test, I managed to drive 360 kilometers roughly. So it means that uh, we can't go the same route, uh, the same Sunday driver route like the Model 3 over 600 kilometers. We have to take another route and also I want to just switch it up a little bit. So the plan is to drive here to Hörnefoss. That's kind of slow, very typical uh, route to the cabin. But then I've been here so many times to Yelo, so I will take this one here over via Vikersund and then around here. Wait, why don't I see the places? What? I don't see town places. Okay, whatever, but I think it's here. <laughs> and then we drive via Eggedarn and then there's some mountain pass something. Wait, huh? wait, wait oh, this one, yeah, yeah. And then we end up at Bromma and then we drive actually the, the regular route uh, on the way back from uh, Gol or yeah. And then I think I will mix it up a little bit once we arrive in Hörnefoss. I will take the route via Javnakehen and then we'll see how much juice we have left. So yeah, we take a little route this uh, area this time and also try to explore places I normally don't drive. So the car has been charged 100%. We're going to reset everything and then off we go. Drive with a hat. Sunday driving for the win. All right, we are on the move. So let me walk through the rules of the Sunday drivers uh, road trip. I, would, I don't want to call it a test or challenge. So uh, first thing is that I always obey the speed limit. You see here is a 60 zone coming up. Okay, 60 zone. I will reduce my speed to 60 kilometers per hour on the speed though. Yeah, I don't care if the, the real speed is actually uh, 57 kilometers per hour. We just go for the 60 or the, the speed limit on the speed though, like a true Norwegian Nissa. All right, rule number two. Hug the middle lane if you can. You see, we have right lane available. No, no, no. We want to hug the middle lane, right? Rule number three: no overtaking. So even if we have straight line, even if the traffic in front of us is flowing at 15 kilometers per hour under the speed limit, we don't overtake. Even if it's nice summer stretch, uh, straight, whatever. No, don't overtake. Right? Rule number four: or how many rules do we have now? Okay, next rule. Uh, on the motorway, uh, maximum 90 kilometers per hour. Try to also hug or, or try to draft behind uh, a truck if you can. Yeah, but don't go faster than 90 kilometers per hour on the speedo. Yeah. Uh, what else is it? Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And also, when it comes to HVAC, yes, try to turn off HVAC. Like right now, HVAC is off. The consumption is 117 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> Wait, it's even lower than that. And this car under reports by 1.3%. So it's around 116 watt hour per kilometer. Huh? I only go home. Hey, look at that. Shit. Get off the left lane. Okay, we have some uh, emergency. It could be Unfall, could be anything. But uh, yeah, we have people hammering me left and right. That's fine. So uh, try to uh, turn off HVAC when you can. Try to be a ninja. Try to conserve energy. Uh, and try to make this as realistic as possible. And I can report to you that the average speed right now since we started from home is 57 kilometers per hour. And normally uh, on these runs, it would be around 70 kilometers per hour. And that's even considered fast. Uh, real Norwegians, they will usually average around 60 to 65 kilometers per hour. I don't know how they do it, but yeah, we'll see how it goes today. So now we're just gonna sit back Relax, hug the middle lane, and enjoy the ride. driving for one and a half hours we're getting close to Vikersund so 
Look at the consumption, huh? Well, let me see, we have to correct it. It's around uh, 145 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> Average speed 65 kilometers per hour. Yeah, this is the way to make the, the brick more efficient. You just drive slow, really slow. So, um, I have a bunch of cars behind me. Well, actually, some of them disappeared, but well, there are a big stack of cars behind me. But I'm going at the speed limit, minus VAT. And um, yeah, let me see. So the plan is to go towards uh, Enkedar. And also, just like in the Model 3, I used the trick here. You see, we have span, fan speed one, we don't turn on AC. So we are just running fan on one. So only fans for the win. We are now in Agedal. This is the first uh, pit stop. Uh -huh. Actually, we have fast chargers there. Hmm. But of course, I would not use it. So let me show you the stats so far. Um, 150 watt hour kilometer, but we have gone uphill and <laughs> 63 kilometers per hour. We're down to 60%. So, all right. So welcome to Agedal. Um, we don't have much here, uh, let me show you. That's the church. That's the shopping mall with gas station. Here we have tourist information. There's some kind of hotel there. And then here we have a statue. The man with the cat. Yeah. So there's uh, info down there. Let will check it out. But uh, I think it's time for a little snack now. Man and a cotton, the man with a cat. Theme from Christian Skrepsig. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know this. Maybe I should. I'm a bad Norwegian, but right, at least I can drive like a Norwegian. Ooh, it's around 17 degrees Celsius here. And we're in the highlands. And it's so comfy. Oh, finally summer. So I'm going to have some pistache, pistachio ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Good. It's nice and creamy. With a crunch of nuts. Pistachio taste. And it's sweet. And then also, I went for some grapes. So I might munch on that later. Let me try one of these. That is a big grape. Mmm. Mm. And I have to show you my latest addiction is frus. It's fuzzies. And it's uh, it's the fuzzies mineral water plus bruce so it becomes frus. It should be fous. <laughs> no, no, no. So I've been drinking some breeze lately. Breeze is very gentle. There's almost no taste, but fruit has a more, um, yeah, a, a, a more taste. And also this one is Bringeberg. Uh, um, I don't remember what it's called again. Dingleberries, no. Oh, I don't remember, uh, but it tastes great. Mm. It has this fresh fruity taste. Maybe it's um, fake, but, and of course bubbles, yeah. But it's not too sweet. Uh, actually, I think this is sugar-free, right? Or, yeah, no, uh, fake, fake sugar. Ah. Oh.
We are getting close to Bruma and we're about to join the main road again, but just have to stop over here, do, do the thumbnail. What, is it here? Is this a good one? Wait, maybe I should go further up. If I go up the hill here. Look at that view, huh? Cool. All right. And there's supposed to be some waterfall nearby. And it's so quiet here. No cars, or at least almost no traffic here. So I guess this is a good place if you want to hammer it. Getting close to Hörnefoss. Um, what's the time now? All right, six. So um, yeah, we will take this route here, similar to the one with the Model Three. Uh, but then it estimates we will have with seven percent. So we can just keep drawing going towards Oslo, I guess. And then you see here now, at least when we were moving, we drove for four and a half hours and sixty-five kilometers per hour average speed. We're done, uh, yeah, corrected, it's around 280 kilometers. Ooh. Okay, consumption 149, all right, all right, okay. So let's keep going. We still have 34% battery left, so um, yeah, let's go deep-ish. <laughs> Maybe 2% deep. just past Klofta now or the cleavage <laughs> and getting close to Oslo so uh, right now the car estimates we will arrive uh, at Arnabru with 4% mm, okay okay and consumption is 150 on the display we need to correct everything when we're done but uh, yeah so average speed has gone up a little bit so we see we are in the 110 zone I'm cruising at 90 that's one of the rules I made <laughs> but hopefully we can go 400 kilometers hmm okay let's see then let's see then not too much traffic tonight um it's one i mean it's um seven in the evening now so uh yeah a nice weather we are finally back home so we are done d-o-n <laughs> but if we look at the trip meter so um the distance there is actually underreported so it's 1.3 percent higher and uh, it means that also the the watt hour per kilometer or the consumption is lower and then uh, funny thing is that uh, the average speed claimed by the trip meter is incorrect if you actually do the math it becomes 65 kilometers per hour but you also have to take into account the error in distance so the real average speed was actually 66 kilometers per hour this uh, average speed bug has been there since day one also on Polestar so um, yes but okay so based on all these numbers I crunched the numbers and I found out that um, if we would drive it all the way to zero I went pretty far now one percent uh, we will actually go uh, 426 kilometers 
Uh, and the consumption was only 147 watt hour per kilometer. So the consumption here on this uh, slow poke uh, driving, uh, Sunday driving test, or a uh, little trip, I don't want to call it a test, but uh, it's 16% lower than the, the, the 90 kilometers per hour range test. And this roughly corresponds with the Model 3, uh, which was 15% lower. So, um, uh, but keep in mind that the Model 3 run was actually slightly worse. We had a lot more elevation change. And also on the Model 3, uh, actually several hours before we ended, because it was such a long drive, um, I had to start running the HVAC. Uh, but on the other hand, Model 3 is super efficient when running the heater. You just scavenge heat from the battery to heat up the cabin. Whereas today, uh, I run the whole trip now without running heater. I just use only fans a couple of times to try to cool it down. And then most of the time, I just got nice heat from the sun. And we could actually save a lot of, uh, we could save some energy for that, yeah. Um, but okay, so um, uh, I also checked now that um, uh, the, today we managed to get uh, 62.7 kilowatt hour. When I did the range test, I got 73 kilowatt hour. But I think this is very close and the 0.3 kilowatt hour could actually be within the, the measurement error since we don't have uh, too many decimals in the trip meter. But uh, okay, um, but so we finally managed to achieve, well, VLTP, but you know, VLTP is just a test cycle that has a very specific speed uh, and, and what their acceleration and motorway speed. And then you're supposed to redo the whole cycle until you drain the battery. And is, if I remember correctly, VLTP doesn't actually run the HVAC. <laughs> uh, so HVAC is off and also it's supposed to be 20 or 25 degrees Celsius according to that cycle. So actually a VLTP is a very uh, nice cycle, uh, a very eco-run, eco-friendly cycle. And actually it could seem like maybe uh, this kind of Sunday driving will be closer to a VLTP, but it's not the same cycle. You have to understand that because we're actually driving on the motorway a little bit, on the highway, uh, lots of towns and stuff but somehow we managed to get very close to it at least. So the two scenarios just happened to end up with almost the same result. Whereas when I did the Model 3 run, um, I feel like the average speed was higher. Uh, of course the car didn't show it. So, um, uh, but the VLTP, I mean, so the Model 3 run uh, there, we managed to get 6% better result than VLTP. So maybe the Model 3 is being more honest with the range numbers versus the Volvo uh, is but at least now we have tried it on two cars and eventually I might try it with more cars. I also find this interesting and very relaxing and we can just stop and chill. We don't have to hammer too hard. So yes, um, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.